So please, everybody get up right now. Get up wherever you are. I don't care if you're lying in bed. I don't care if you're bottomless, okay? Just get up right now. Because St. Paul in his letter to the Ephesians said it came to me upon a midnight clear. He said, I finished writing all of my gospel. Now all I seem to want is sex and marriage. Mark Antony looked down on Caesar's body. He said, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ear. I did not come here to praise Caesar. I came here for sex and beer. Sex and beer. Sex and beer. All the two things we hold dear. Sex and beer. Sex and beer. All the things we lie around here. George Washington, he never crossed the Delaware. There was no midnight ride for Paul Revere. Ben Franklin never discovered electricity. He was too busy looking for sex and bear. Sex and bear. Sex and bear. Are the two things we hold dear. Sex and bear. Sex and bear. Now Charles Dickens gave us great expectations. Shakespeare gave us Hamlet and King Lear. Dostoevsky gave us crime and punishment. Who the hell is gonna give us sex and bear? Sex and bear. Sex and bear. Are the two things we hold dear? Sex and bear. From the city to the suburbs to the country, from the southern to the northern hemisphere, they're holding a tremendous referendum, and everybody's choosing sex and bear, sex and bear, sex and bear, all the two things we hold dear, sex and bear, sex and bear. Because they could take away our pride and our dignity. They could use up all our blood and sweat and tears. They could take away our names and give us numbers. But they will never take away our sex and beer. Sex and beer. Sex and beer. Are the two things we hold dear. Oh, yeah. Sex and beer. Sex and beer. Are the things we like around here. Chorus, sing it. Sex and bear are the two things we hold dear. Sex and sex and bear are the things we like around here. Oh, we like sex and bear and sex and bear. Thanks, everybody.